Hello, people. It's time for Pofty's Fast Break Report. Pofty? I can understand Anka, but Pofty? We bring you news while it's breaking. Today, we're visiting Duking to discover Poke Spots where wild Pokemon appear. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the booming popularity of wild Pokemon and Pyrite. So, Duking, so is this the Poke Spot you discovered? Hello, Duking here. Yes, that's absolutely right. For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatching sleep, only grudgingly to find this Poke Spot. 15 years? Is that true? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let the details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty! Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? I get to be on TV! Oh man, this is awesome. I get to say hi to my mom and everything. If I can get into that right now. Hi, mom! I missed the camera. I gotta, by the way, I gotta say, Duking, you got huge! Like, you were muscular before, like a few years ago, though, but look at him! He's huge! We need. Uh, my goodness, you developed this device yourself? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let the details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty! By the way, we'll know if the boss is coming around. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the radar's got something. It's the boss! Mirror B! Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> he moonwalks into the stage! And his afro is like ten times as big! He's amazing! Dude, that afro, yo. Whoa! Hey, my posse! Have you rounded up the Pokemon like I wanted? Hmm? Stop the music! Oh, oh, oh! I sense the pleasing scent of Pokemon! Oh, yes, I do! Maybe you're just a little hood, but maybe you're also one fine trainer with the goods! How about you get with it and join my posse? Be one of us, and you'll soon be owning all the Pokemon around the world! It's always been my dream to join Team Mirror B, the greatest team in any Pokemon game. Oh, I hear your mouth say it, but your heart's not in it! I can't abide by that! It's big decision time! You need to think hard before you choose a life of crime, so tell me, will you join my posse? And he just will not accept me. Oh, okay. Whoa, I thought you'd say that! You always had the smell to me, you see, that you would be our enemy! How I deal with a threat is to nip it while it's a bud yet! Whoa! I'll be showing you my power now, try not to be blown away by my sense of WOW! Let the music play! Thought it was let the music spin, but oh well, that doesn't matter, that is irrelevant. We're fighting Mir B again! Ah, oh, one of my favorite, one of the most underrated characters in all of Pokemon. Listen to that music, it might isn't it? When I was a kid, I would make up like dumb lyrics to video game music that made no sense, and for this one, I'd be like, bananas in pajamas, dun 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 dun. I was so stupid. Anyway, uh, I now own a Pokemon that is owned by the great Mir B. Cherish it always. No, in all seriousness, I'm not gonna use it on my team because I already have an electric type. You messed up my rhythm. I just can't. No, I just can't do it. And it looks like we've killed him once again. But his afro is making him look upright because he can't put his head down all the way. Does he seriously sleep like that? I would. I would guess Mirror B doesn't even have a pillow with an afro that big, man. That's he has like a living pillow on his head. Letting it hair is dead. Oh, you, you, you! You make me so angry. I'm seeing red. Don't you dare think this over. Just you wait and see. One of these days, my with my elegant steps, I'll knock you sideways. Let's go! Escape! <laughs> Mir B, I don't know how you do it. You run in high heels and you pull it off fabulously. What do we got? We have a mirror radar. Just the thing I have always wanted in life. A radar that tells me the exact location of Mir B. Oh, the stalking potential! Okay, in all seriousness, this radar shows you where Mirror B, that's the boss, happens to be. Whenever the boss appears somewhere, a mark appears on the screen. When you see the mark, check out the radar, it'll tell you where he is. You'll probably see me... You'll probably ask me where the boss is when he's not on the radar. You know how mysterious he can be. Who knows where he goes off to? Probably off getting Pokemon or something. Somewhere far away. Uh, the transmitter's range from fall. And... Whoops, you're not going this way. Well, what other way am I gonna go? It's the only way. Yeah, ball nickname. I'm sorry. I just kind of give it that as a joke. And hey, the spot monitor is responding. So while we're in the middle of all this stuff, we have to drop everything to go see what wild Pokemon has appeared. This is what I mean by wild Pokemon appearing is really, really not good because everything you do gets interrupted by wild Pokemon appearing. And you don't want to pass it up because you might have found a rare Pokemon that you might want. It
back exactly to where we were, to be precise. Okay, and we go to the... Oh, wait, what do we got down here? Are you going to fight me? All right, all you listen up. Everyone has to remain calm and quiet here. No funny stuff. And who tries to get out, there will be serious consequences. Get it? Uh, no. Huh? You're acting mighty suspicious. That's all he says. And then he fights us. You're free, my... We have another wild Pokemon. Seriously? Here, I want to at least talk to these people I freed. Uh, yeah, I better be careful. Oh, we freed Razzle and Dazzle. Yay, we're saved! Yay! I thought we were doomed. I thought he might keep us locked up in hostages forever. Thanks for rescuing us. I can't really keep you locked up forever. I mean, he's got to let you go sometime. It's kind of the way things are. Anyway, I really, really hate to say this, but we might need to actually leave to go see that wild Pokemon monitor again, just in case it is something rare. Meg, they came and took Meg. Meg is Ness's younger sister. You know, she's a receptionist. You've seen her, right? The intruders grabbed her and hustled her upstairs to th with them through the elevator. Well, all that sounds like something I really need to take care of, but the Pokespot monitor is interrupting the flow of the action once again, so I must go check on it. And actually, I should say, I just wanted to show that one wild Pokemon battle at the start of this video. Unless it is an important battle, or it is a rare Pokemon of some sort, I don't want to show these on screen. I will be going over the Pokemon you can get for Pokespots at the end of the video toward the end slate, but for now, I just kind of want to cut these out because it's getting to be a little... You know what? Before I even get back to the building, there is already another Pokespot thing going off. I apologize that this is breaking up the flow, but I kind of wanted to drive my point home of just how much I don't like this encounter system. And the thing is, there is a wild Pokemon I want to use on my team. And that's why I keep going back and checking these things. And we're back. Now to see if we can make it up to the second floor without getting interrupted by the spot monitor. Once again, I do apologize if it seems to be breaking the pace of things a little bit, but... That's what the spot monitor does. It's really- Hey! He was in the elevator with us. I could see him like, What? You look mystified. You didn't know how I managed to be in the elevator, do you? I'll tell you what I did. I braced myself flat up against the ceiling. Takes a lot of strength. Not bad, huh? I demand your respect. And now we better- You know what, dude? You have my respect. That does not sound easy to do. I'll Torkin. Uh, okay. That sounds really- Honestly, in all honesty, Torkin, as weird as of a name as you have, you have earned my respect. You pressing yourself up against the ceiling and just staying like that for God knows how long, especially with those going after those Poke spots over and over again. Could you imagine him getting faked out and just being like, wait a minute, he was supposed to be here by now. Crap, why is he not here? My arms are getting tired, no! And just being all like that, and I'm just being stupid. For naming my Pokemon, that's really it. Anyway, uh, this Kecleon here is getting really, really frustrating. Like, seriously. Kecleon's not even that good, and it just, this is going on forever. Okay, there we go. It's finally down. As soon as I complain about it, it goes down. See, guys? Just complain that something is not dead, and it will go away. Oh, wow, that is really, really mean. I don't mean that in a literal sense whatsoever. I really use it, and I think the healing machine is on the next floor. Why did the elevator have to stop on this floor? Because it's the only floor the elevator stops on. Duh, didn't you pay any attention? I mean, there's no buttons in it. You just step in, and off it goes. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? While I was going off to go heal, the spot monitor is responding. We're going to have a cutaway inside of a cutaway. Okay, guys, I've learned my lesson. I'm never doing this again. If I want to go catch a wild Pokemon, I'm just going to do it in between episodes because this is nuts. I didn't think it was going to be wild Aron. Okay. Aron is indeed the Pokemon I want to catch for my team. This is an incredibly defensive Pokemon. It's got the stats to say that it's a huge tank. It's got the typing to say that it's a huge tank. Only real downside is that it has a quad weakness to both fighting and ground. That's kind of lame. It's really the only thing bad that I could say about it. If you're going for a, a specific ability, I would definitely recommend Rockhead, as there's some really, really good recoil moves that it can be taught. Sturdy's just not that great of ability prior to Gen 5 when it got a huge buff. So that's really the only th that's really the only thing I could say about looking for specific Arons is going for that. Anyway, nothing left to do but catch it now. I've been pretty lucky with the catcher so far. Let's see if that continues. Just throwing a Pokeball because I really don't have anything else. Don't want to use my Great Balls yet. One, two, three. It's mine. I continue getting lucky. Damn it in a minute though, but yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, the, 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 but the in the time that we check this spot, another one is going off. Oh my god. Anyway, I'll meet you guys on the it's on. Now, I don't mean to do this with every one of a Pokemon. I did say that I'll have Sveal open to nicknaming at a later point, and I still plan to stick to my word on that whenever it evolves. But I want to claim a nickname of my Aron, because in honor of this absolutely hilarious wild Pokemon battle music that does not fit in a Pokemon game at all, I'll name him Billy Bob! <laughs> yes, Billy Bob! Uh, I am so sorry. I can't say anything else about it. Just Billy Bob.
<laughs> anyway, back to ONBS headquarters. I can't believe how many cutaways we've had. Play. And in the room where Anka was, we'll find out that Anka has a really big fan in Cypher, apparently. How is his scarf flopping on the inside, by the way? There's no wind in here. Maybe he, like, has, like, a fan in his uniform to make it fly. That'd be a really cool uniform, man. Don't lie. Anyway, I say that we just forget all that negativity, forget all the cutaways, forget the spot monitor. I'm just gonna be ignoring it from now on. We just let all that negativity go. We just be happy that we have a new team member, and let's test drive our awesome new team member. All right, let's do this. Can't wait to try him out. Hey. Volterra and Billy Bob, let's do this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna open with Metal Claw on Rhyhorn. I'm gonna use Thundershock and Quillfish. I think I chose some really good Pokemon for this fight. Holy crap, did I... No! I forgot about that! That it had Lightning Rod. Uh, well, so much for choosing good Pokemon for this fight. Um, okay, I will hope that this kills. I doubt it will. Nah, it won't. Rhyhorn has really, really good defense, so I was not counting on that. Uh, could you horn attack, Billy Bob, please? Yes! One damage! One damage! That is the kind of defensive power and defensive typing that I'm talking about. One damage. Eat it, Rhyhorn. Here. In fact, I'm not gonna just let you eat it. I'm gonna eat you. I'm using bite on you. There you go. I'm getting really, really into this fight. Holy crap. I don't know what it is with me. I just suddenly got really, really worked up now that we have a new member of the team. Maybe that just excites me. I don't know. All I know is that this is going to suck for Billy Bob because, uh, water gun. Not only that, but it's going to resist. Uh, oh, what? Why didn't you target Aron? Aron has terrible special defense. Why didn't you go for Aron? Okay, whatever. Uh, for those that are wondering, by the way, I did already check uh, the Aron that I caught. It does indeed have Rockhead for its ability, which is exactly what I wanted. So we are good on the front of abilities. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Okay. So, Voltaire, now is your time to shine. Or should I say time to shock? Do it. There we go. Quillfish goes down, just as I knew it would in one turn, just like before. Got, you know what? Now that I think about it, Quillfish really needs an evolution. Like, it's so odd that to this day, Quillfish doesn't have one. I mean, it's almost as lacking as a uh, Love Disc. I mean, I wouldn't dare say anything is as bad as Love Disc, though, but God. I, I don't know, actually. I, I think probably the most useless Pokemon in existence are male Combies. Like, I think I still stick by what I said years ago. But... Yeah, Quillfish is very, very lacking. It really is an evolution. It just, for whatever reason, it just kind of seems like they're done giving new Pokemon. I'm glad that we're getting more original Pokemon instead of just evolutions of everything else. And I'm getting Thunder Waved. Uh, sorry, in your very first battle, you got paralyzed. Uh, if it makes you, oh my god, if he tackles Aron. Oh my god. <laughs> One damage on Aron is the new it doesn't affect Miss Drevis, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh boy, I know I choose the right Pokemon when in its very first battle it ever did, it takes one damage twice. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Okay, uh, Headbutt, Thundershock, let's end this. I'm probably gonna be fully paralyzed and I probably won't get to end it this turn, but oh well. Oh boy. Okay, down goes Coughing. And, okay, Chinchou, I'll get an attack in. Thunder Wave. It paralyzed both of my Pokemon, did Yep. Okay. Okay, in an ultimate twist of irony, Voltaire is the one who was paralyzed this time, and I'm fully paralyzed. Wonderful. What do you mean, double paralysis? Triple. You rock. And steal. <laughs> there we go. You will never get Anka's autograph at this rate, as he was saying before. Okay. What do you have to say, Rixor? Miss Anka! Looks like he's scared of her or something like that with him making that pose while shouting her name. That does it. What does Anka have to say to us, huh? Does she have anything nice to say to her little hero? Thanks for your help. I don't think anyone expected OMBS to be made of the target. But you watch. We'll get the story out in the news in a big way. Awesome.